Um, congratulate uh, Virginia. Uh, they did a, a great job tonight. They did the things you have to do to, to win football games. They uh, outrushed us 210 yards to uh, 93. And when you can't stop the run and you can't consistently run the ball, uh, you're not going to win many games. And, and then you end up uh, not converting on, on uh, third downs in some situations and, and have more trouble in the red zone. But uh, the offense hung in there, obviously scored enough points to win. But uh, uh, we didn't stop the run. Uh, we had two turnovers. Uh, we had a quarterback fumble that, that led to points, so we didn't step up with sudden change defense very well. Uh, we dropped a punt right before the half where they scored very easily. Uh, that was a 20 and a 30 yard drive. Uh, we came back and drove the length of the field and, and um, uh, didn't get points when we were uh, down about the 10 yard line uh, at the end of the half. We wasted a timeout on, on defense at a player call, which is unusual. We don't usually have that. We didn't have a timeout in our pocket like we, we should have. Um, and then we had two or three key penalties that uh, really, really hurt us. Two unsportsmanlike penalties and a holding penalty on a tight end that, that cost us a touchdown and, and had it called back. Uh, really proud of the, the kids and the coaches that they fought to, to hang in there and down 21, but fought to come back and have a chance to win. And, and now, like at Florida State, we, we've got to start winning these games that are close at the end. It's, it's not good enough to fight back and be close. Uh, close doesn't help you. Uh, you got to win. And um, uh, any loss is disappointing. This one's disappointing. We've got to learn to win on the road. We've, we've said it. Uh, it's there. It's real. Uh, we've just got to do it. And, um, and uh, we'll have to put this one behind us after we watch it tomorrow on, on Vineo and, and head uh, over to play Duke. Questions? All right, group, if you have a question, please use the raise hand function. Uh, we will begin with Andrew Jones. Go ahead, Andrew. Hey, Coach, uh, what was the reasoning behind Toe being in there on that punt return that he ended up dropping instead of uh, Daz? Toe is uh, one of the more sure-handed players on our team, and he also makes really good decisions around the 10. So he's been there since we've been here. He, he's always the, taking them inside the 10. And on their last drive, when they had the fourth down, you guys uh, they had the, the fake, the direct snap. What, what did you guys have called on that, and, and what went wrong? You talking about their fake punt? Yes. Yeah, we were in a position to stop it, um, and and we obviously he he had to bounce and go back the other way, and and we lost our contain on the backside and didn't tackle him. Good play by them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go to C. L. Brown, please. Hey, Mac. In the first half, uh, what can you explain to us how the officials broke down the I guess the inadvertent whistle, the the play that ended up being the do over. Um, uh, early in the second quarter? Yeah, they said that uh, uh, since it was an inadverted whistle, we could go back and either have third down again or play fourth down. And obviously we wanted to go back and try to to make it again on third down. And uh, how do you keep this? You, you've talked before about not letting one loss spiral or one big win you know, get you in trouble the next week. How do you keep this loss from not not sabotaging the season, not not allowing this to kind of linger over their heads? No, we're, we're still in a lot better shape than we were this time last year. Um, and, and we know that. So we, we've got to build on what we've done and, and move forward. There were opportunity after opportunity tonight. I mean, you look at uh, uh, Sam Howell, 23 of 28. Uh, for 443 yards and, and five touchdowns. Uh, I mean, there's a, a lot of really good things that, that we can, uh, four touchdowns uh, that we can take out of the night uh, that will help us grow as a team. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. All right, let's go over to Greg Barnes. Hey, Mac, what challenges do they present running the ball? I know we talked about the QB run a lot this week, but what makes them so effective? They put so many in the box, Greg, and that's why they gave up uh, 443 yards passing. Uh, I mean, it's uh, uh, they just decided we're not going to let you run, uh, but they left us in one-on-one -on -one situations outside, and we took advantage of it, and it gave us a chance to hang in the game. And I know you mentioned at halftime not handling the sudden change situations as well as you would have liked. What's the key to getting the team to improve in those areas? I think be confident on defense and, and love that challenge and, and be excited about it. And, and uh, that, that's something that uh, 
Uh, we really haven't handled really, really well since we got here. Florida State, we have the block punt. They go out and score in one play. And that's an area that we really have to improve on our defense is we, we've got to take that challenge of when we have a turnover down in our, uh, uh, in, in our part of the field, uh, we, we've got to step up and do a better job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Mary Mack Porter. Coach Brown, your team was really effective on third down, but you had four or four fourth downs com com converted. How do you step up and make sure you're making that final play with your defense? How do you change that going forward? Well, I, I didn't think we played very well tonight, uh, Mary Mack. I, I thought uh, on defense, we um, when you give up 210 yards rushing um, and, and you only force one turnover, uh, that that's where you uh, you stop third and fourth downs uh, because you uh, if you allow people to have um, short yardage plays on fourth down and most of theirs were they were one or two yards uh, th then you, you you have trouble stopping them um, and because we weren't stopping the run anyway. All right, let's uh, go to Gregory Hall. Go ahead, Gregory. Mac, penalties continue to be an issue for your team. Um, at what point does it need to be more on the player's responsibility to, to get those fixed? Uh, it's, it's on us. Um, we, uh, we coach these guys every day. Um, we're supposed to have them in the right places, and, and we're supposed to help them make the plays. And, and um, uh, all they need to do is have more confidence. They tried. They tried as hard as they could. Most teams would have quit at Florida State, and this team didn't. I'm so proud of the way they fought back. Most teams would have quit tonight because not much was happening good, um, especially in the, the late second and uh, early third quarter. Uh, but uh, the guys kept fighting and competing. And as long as they'll do that, we can coach them and, and we'll get better uh, at putting them in the right places. Who who were the drivers of the the comeback in the second half tonight? Who was on the sidelines uh, leading the team and keeping the keeping the team up? You know, it, it'd be hard to say, Greg. I'm – I'm screaming and trying to think and help them. So I'm not usually looking around that sideline to see who's over there doing things. But I, I think uh, uh, obviously uh, you look at what Sam Howell did tonight. Uh, it's unbelievable. We, we saw one of the best performances I've ever seen from a quarterback. So uh, it's a shame that nobody will be talking about that tomorrow uh, because it uh, the game didn't end up like we wanted it to. But uh, I'll be talking about it uh, because it, it bodes great for the future for us. and. And then uh, we've got to have more turnovers. I mean, we, we, we don't get sacks and we don't get turnovers. And um, it's amazing we've won four games without a, uh, more turnovers. Last week we had four. Uh, but, but other than that, we've had very few all year. So uh, we've got to stop the run better. We've got to force more turnovers and we've got to uh, force more sacks. And, and when you get to the quarterback, you tip some balls like we did last week and disrupt his, his timing, that's when you start uh, getting more turnovers. All right, let's close up uh, back over to Greg Barnes. Go ahead, Greg. Back talking about that passing game. Uh, Deami Brown had another huge night tonight. Um, what has he done so well, really, the last two weeks here? I think he's gotten his confidence back. He, he, did, he wasn't pleased with his performance down at Florida State, uh, and he's really gotten his focus back and, and gone back to work and, and, and just tried to be the best player he can be. And tonight, he was a, he was a superstar. He, he and Sam uh, gave us a chance to get back in the game. Thank you. And then glad Chopper, caught his long touchdown pass as well. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you. The other thing that, that you look yes. at, you look at rushing yards, but you also look at number of plays. They had 73 plays to our 61. And some of that's because we scored quickly. But um, um, I think, again, you go back to the, the two fumbles, um, the the – Poor sudden change, uh, their ability to run the ball um, and keep us off the field. Uh, they had it 34 minutes and 34 seconds compared to 25, 26. And, and that's usually a, a formula, even though we threw it as well as we did, uh, that, that gets you beat because that's uh, we've been having that formula. We've been keeping people off the field. We've been running the ball. We've been beating people down. And that opens up the play action pass. And tonight we just had to absolutely go one minute offense for a complete half and, and try to win the game through the air. And um, that, that's not how most teams uh, are consistently good. And, and um, we, we can't be this way 
and 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 be the team that we want to be. So we've got to go back to uh, uh, tonight and try to get a little sleep and uh, uh, grade this one. Uh, we we talk about getting rid of wins as soon as we can. You got to get rid of losses the same way. I haven't done that very well in my past. I've got to do better because I've got to help these young guys get uh, ready to go to Duke. And uh, I saw an early Duke score where they were dominating uh, Charlotte. So uh, they'll they'll be excited about seeing us come on the road next week. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Mac.